Hi guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how many unique products a customer has bought. So for example, I have a sample data set over here. So if I click on one product over here, it will give me the details of all the customers who bought only one product from the particular store. And if likewise, if I click for on three here, it will give me all the customers who've bought three products or below. So, and if I click on, let's say Nicole over here, we will get to see what are these two products which have, which this particular customer has bought. So this is what we will be going to learn today. So let's get started. I'm going to go here onto my new page here and I have my orders table and I'm going to bring in the customer name and, and then I'm going to bring in the product ID. So this is what we have over here. And we will use these two fields to identify the number of products. So the first thing here, let us begin by creating a new measure. So our measure here is going to be a unique products. Okay, is equals to and we will start by defining a variable. The variable here is going to be where unique prod okay is equals to calculate distinct count of it's asking me to enter the column name the column name here is going to be the product id okay comma all of product id okay then i'm going to close the bracket here close the bracket once again we will define another variable here called as slicer slicer value is equals to we will leave it as one for now okay and then i'm gonna say return if unique prod value is less than or equals to slicer value which is what we have over here if it is less than or equals to slicer value then return one else return zero okay and then i'm going to close the bracket here and press enter and see what happens so we've created a measure here um, it's called unique where is it it's, it's here let me bring this to this table over here unique products okay and then we've got zeros and then we've also got ones so these ones are basically telling that these are the customers who've bought the unique product which is one which we which we have hard coded over here to one. So now uh, let us put this particular filter unique products. We'll go to the filter section over here and select is one. Okay. So this will give us only those products or display only those products where the particular customer has bought just one product. Okay. So how do we change? Uh, or how do we make this dynamic? So what we will do is we will go to the modeling tab, click on new parameter, and then we'll change this to number of prod selection. Okay, my minimum value is going to be one maximum, you can choose whatever you want, let us say 10 products, you want to see maximum and increment is one. Let's say default is one. Okay. And then I'm going to click on, okay. A slicer will be added to this particular page. Let's make some changes here to this particular slicer. I'm going to change this to list and then go to the visual format slicer settings. And then I'm going to change this to horizontal. In fact, I'm going to go back here and change this to a tree map and then come here uh, into my prod selection and bring this value into the value field. So you now you will see 10 different slicers over here with all different colors. You can go back to the title here under general tab and change this to number of products or whatever that you want, right? We'll change this to number of product for now and we'll quickly change the uh, style of this particular uh, table as well. I'm gonna have bold header and alternating rows. I quite like this. And now I'm going to get rid of the unique products over here. And instead uh, of the product ID, I'm going to go here and click on count this thing. So this will give me the number of count of those particular products. I'm simply going to copy paste this, create a new table here and 
I have I'm gonna remove the product ID and I have my customer name and then I need product name and then I need sales okay for now I've added these three columns over here to this particular table and this is Anthony for me Anthony here has bought this particular product for example Carl Carl has bought this particular product over here okay and then here also on this table you need to apply the same unique filter which is already applied okay and uh, and now let us uh, change this value let's go back to our unique product so we've applied the value over here let me just reduce the size so we've hard coded the value as one so now i'm going to change this we've created a slicer that's called as number number of products number of products so if you type number of products here you'll get this particular value number of product selection value you just change the hard coded one to this particular selection and press enter and now you will see that if i select three you will see all the customers who have bought products which are three or less than three like if i click on uh, let's say roy over here these are the three products which Roy has purchased and now if I click on 10 you will see all the customers who have bought 10 products so if I click on Aaron over here you will see all those 10 products which this particular customer has bought right so that's it guys in this particular tutorial I hope you found this helpful you've learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials